Hello everybody, my name is Polypo, and we are going to do uh, Power Hoofs Presents Peridium. Um, I saw this on, I believe it was Itch.io, I don't remember, uh, but of course, after, uh, it, it will be in the description down below if you want to play it yourself. It sounded pretty interesting, and it reminded me... Lurching I motion. When I learned to read the signs, most of the crew were in its power already, and I paid a terrible price for my blindness. Was I the last? I could hear their footsteps on the snow outside my cabin. Leaden steps, moving as one. Not safe here. So, I'll for the lab. Jeez. <sighs> already, it starts with. What I would call some pretty interesting oh. voice acting. Uh. Uh. Pain throbbing from the gaping hole in my stomach. Well, could have gone better. Probably should close that, right? Uh, okay. Doctor Turner. Open up. Dr. Turner. <laughs> nice swimming. I almost black out again. Come on, Jim. There's nothing to worry about. Prove it. Harris. Open this fucking door, James. See, that sounds like something I have to worry about. Or whatever it is that's living in his body now. So... I my teeth against another wave of agony. Uh, keep it together. No, I don't want to keep it together. First things first. Gotta get this bleeding under control. So... Okay. Wee. Okay. So I walk using the mouse button. Um, the door stuck fast. Need something to lever it. Already, this sound. This feels very like the thing. It's not important. Like apparently, he's mistaking people for monsters. The rusty screwdriver rattled around in the toolbox. That can't help me. Collection of papers on the ancient fungi buried deep beneath the ice would have been the culmination of a decade of research. The better part of our lives together. I'd never finish now. But perhaps I can pass on the torch. Huh. Okay, so important research. I can't think of a use for it. Not yet. Anyway, I'm sure something will come up. Look, found a small look, he's dead, he, you know. Let's not worry about Wilkins over there. There's nothing to, There's nothing. Oh. Found some mean looking wire cutters. I'm finding a lot of useful tools, but nothing to really help me. Locked. Uh I I guess I should touch the dead guy. <laughs> okay, Wilkins. What you got for me? Kneeling down over the body. I noticed the telltale, inhuman signs on his face. He he looked pretty human to me. He was also wearing one of those armbands I'd noticed on the others. Oh, God. The stench coming off him. Almost losing consciousness. Again. But desperate. I persist. I find the key in his jeans pocket. So... Is that to the cabinet? I don't know. <laughs> radio, my heart sinks. A stray bullet had smashed right through it. Shit. So I can't use the radio. Uh, I've got a lot of There's wire. Her. She's running fine. Okay. Bear to go near the thing. Okay. So I guess I gotta use the cabinet. Locked. I thought I had a key. Or is that for somewhere else? Oh, it's for that. Th is that for the locker? Um, the door stuck fast. Need something to leak. I'm missing something. No time to mess with that. Was I not paying attention? Nothing else. I'll leave it. 
I don't have very much space to work with here. No time to. Huh. Uh, wire. Can't break. Uh. Can't. It, so I can't reach it. Um. Oh. Oh. It, is this how I? Huh? The lock clicks open. Okay, now I understand. hungrily past morphine, antibiotics. Someone had been storing lab samples in here again. Strictly forbidden, but the lab for the sample caught my eye. Thin, scarlet membranes stretched over a pulsating, bulbous growth. Oh no! Ah! Ah! The cloud of crimson spores, eyes. Nostrils, throat burning. So it's. I cough, and the action triggers a dagger of pain from my wound. Still, I manage not to black out, and at least the cabinet's open. But I've got things in me now. It's so. Not going to work. I was hoping to, like, examine. So clenching my teeth to suppress screams of agony, I injected some penicillin around the wound before bandaging it up. Okay. So... Uh, am I good? Okay, I'm good. So... There's nothing else. I shoved the barrel under the wire. Okay. I was about to say, like, the wiring seemed important. Uh, can I can't. Can, 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 there we go. Can't cut it with my bare hand. Okay, fine. Reaching up to cut the wire, I feel something brush against my mind. That's not how I'm things work. And terrible. That near fleeting whisper of contact. A freight train roaring through my consciousness. I was drowning. Uh, <laughs> beneath my mind, I could feel that force animating my limbs like a monstrous puppeteer. Lungs burning, I struggle to the surface. Uh, what? Um, uh, cut the thing. God, <laughs> was that what the others had felt? <laughs> So why did I cut the wires in the first place? Not going near it. Uh it's not in Can't bear to go near Radio's useless to me broken, and I can't I I got a screwdriver. Despite the tremor in my fingers, I've managed to undo the screws. Radio's useless to me broken. I what, what, what do I need to fix it? Oh, do I need the wire? Need to cut out this fused wiring first. Cut out the fused wiring? Eh? They don't work together. Well, they better. <laughs> don't want... Uh... Can't do it. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Cut out the fused wiring. Need to cut out this... Oh, do I have to cut it? Snipping away the fuse. Okay. <laughs> I'm clueless. <laughs> Fuseform samples with my wife. Her laughter. Radio's useless to me. Okay, now can I put it in? Let's see. <laughs> Should be working now. Should be. I grabbed the receiver. This is Dr. James Turner. <coughs> Station uh. Theta 661. I'm dying. The thing's infected me. The welcome sound of a friendly voice comes through the static. Oh wow! I, oh, thank God. I, need I thought it was just going to be all like. This be something horrible <laughs> has happened. Yep. Tell the crew, do not land until they see. Repeat, do not land until they see Doctor Parker. Copy. Over and out. Okay. God for that. Away 
shivering on my feet, exhausted. I sink to the floor Ooh. and wait. Sleep falls like a lead curtain. Ah, uh, what? What? I can't do anything. I snap awake. Something very wrong. The cold. My mind. My body stiff and numb. The pain like hot lead being poured over my hands. My feet. My face. I struggle to move my limbs. Tearing myself away I'm frozen. From the frozen floor. <laughs> Ah, oh, the ah! Oh, I gotta use the research, don't I? It's the only thing that's burned, right? Decade of work. I throw it in. There's fuel in her. But you need to find some kindling and quickly. Okay, well, I got a blowtorch. Does that work? The page is lit. I stand close Woo. until feeling returns to my face. I'll lose some fingers, but I'm alive. Oh. That's all, huh? Is that the evac chopper? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. Uh. Can I leave it alone? Okay. The door's stuck fast. Kick. Okay. I leave her at the door with the screwdriver. But it's too small to be of any nuts. I'm, a, I'm afraid to go outside. It's quiet out there. Time to go. Too quiet. I'm turning the wheel when I hear shouts and bodies slamming no. to the other side. I throw myself at the door, but too late. Their worm-like arms twisting their way in. Oh God! Don't know how long I can hold it. Uh. Stab, I stab at a flailing thing, but to no effect. Uh, bl burn it. I almost dropped the blowtorch trying to light it, but it flares to life, and I hold it against the arm wielding that knife. I almost drop it again, as the smell of burning hair and pork crackling fills my nostrils. Pork Stone crackling. Outside, and the knife clatters on the floor. I make Pick a lunge. Uh. Start the chopping away. Hunk of steel. I shut my eyes and start hacking. <laughs> the muffled screams <laughs> from behind the door. The sticky warmth splashing on my arms. Finally, I feel the door slam close behind my back. Is it locked? It had worn the same armband. They all did once they turned. Uh, I'm collecting a, a lot of armbands here. Now, can I pry it open? Box of cartridges inside. Oh. It's loaded. And I'm ready as I'll ever be. I'll leave it. Uh. Time. Now. There's nothing. There's no way. Like, right after that, I'm just gonna walk outside. I'll leave it alone. Ah. Uh, I, I guess. Weapon shaking in my hand. I swung the He's coming out. He's coming Ben's out. Put it down. Look, Ben's here. No. Dad, it's me. I'm coming in. No. Mum called before. She I just got in. No, Ben. Get out of here. Run. Dad, put the gun down. They They killed Kathy, Ben. Dad, it was an accident. They they told me what... Look, it wasn't your fault. Dad, what are you doing? I... can't fight it... much longer. Dad, you need help. Please. Drop the gun, Jim. It's your son, for fuck's sake. Can't think. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna have a choice, aren't I? Oh no! Ah! Shaking. Every synapse in my infected mind urging me to pull the trigger. I mean, clearly something's happening here. I'm not just crazy. I gaze at my son. <laughs> He'd lost so much already. Ben, 
Oh God, Ben. But that wrongness is in his face, and what's that band on your arm? What? What's that band on your arm? What are you doing? Drop the gun. Can't let it have him too. Not our son. <laughs> the end. Peridium. It felt so much like the thing, like story code, Dave Lloyd, art, Barney coming, uh, voice and sound, Adrian uh, Vaughn? Vohan? Uh, music, Lewis Mayer. The music was great. Uh, special thanks to John Murphy and Ben Weatherall. But yeah, the music was great and the voice acting was great. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of pixel art, but I can get used to it, especially when it's something that interesting. Hey crew, the new radiation monitor bands arrived this morning. Please see Jeff to get yours. We're required to wear them to at all times. I know it's annoying, but health and safety and all that. Cheers, Samantha. So it was a radiation man. Ah, and then it crashed. Uh, <laughs> well, it exits you out. That was really good. That was really interesting for a um, a game that essentially was probably made. I mean, it was made by like four people. Um, that's what's so interesting about uh, indie games and stuff like that. Is you f you find games that are like that where a small group of people, mind you, it wasn't very long, but I'm sure if they really wanted to, they could make it even longer and they could make a whole story around it. They could actually make it so that you're, you know, you're actually like running around trying trying to find everything and all that instead of just being in a room. But that was really cool and I really liked it and. I'm guessing there's another ending if you play it the other way, which I'm not going to do. Um, I'm going to stick with my choice of shooting Ben. Um, but that was really cool. I really like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, you can check it out yourself down below. I believe it is on itch.io. I could be wrong. It could be on a Game Jolt thing. Uh, but yeah, check it out for yourself. And of course, do your thing down below. Like, share, and all that fun stuff. Uh, I'm not going to hag you, or yeah, hound you about that. But anyway, I will see you in the next party in the next episode. Bye! Bye.